Breaking news now, how the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is driving a wedge between academics and Democrats in California. The brutal conflict in Gaza between Israel and the militant Palestinian group Hamas has exposed societal and political divides across the United States, including in California, similar to the policy of the Biden administration, most Americans support Israel's invasion of Gaza following Hamas's murderous attack on Israel on October 7. However, the situation is more complicated in California. A recent poll conducted by the Public Policy Institute of California revealed that despite the clear partisan divide, 61% of adults and 51% of voters in the state believe that the United States should not take a stance. With only 19% siding with Israel and 16% with Palestine, Democrats are significantly more inclined to favor neutrality. But among Republicans, 59% support Israel and just 4% Palestine, the disintegration of the Democratic Party was on full display at the recent state convention in Sacramento, when pro-Palestine protesters scuttled the proceedings in a similar vein. Pro-Palestine protesters gathered outside the ritzy events that President Joe Biden attended in Southern California over the weekend, events that were mostly sponsored by famous Jewish figures in the entertainment industry, including Rob Reiner, Barbara Streisand, and Steven Spielberg.to expressed their gratitude to Biden for standing with Israel and with the Jewish community during this incredibly challenging moment. The Jewish caucus of the California legislature released a statement on Monday, contrarily. Politico stated that a number of Democratic legislative staffers are distributing a letter that calls on legislative leaders and Governor Gavin Newsom to back an immediate end to the fighting and establish an international tribunal to examine and punish those responsible for the war crimes in Israel and Gaza. Don a few days prior to the internal capital effort, Newsom had substituted a virtual ceremony for the traditional public lighting of the capital's Christmas tree, citing the possibility of conflict at the event as the reason. Many who support the Palestinian cause were very critical of Newsom's decision. According to Yasser Dabur of the Sacramento Regional Coalition for Palestinian Rights, Governor Newsom decided to cancel the tree lighting ceremony rather than face the public that is enraged by his shameful silence on the genocide in Gaza. A rhetorical conflict about whether opposition to Israel's crusade to destroy Hamas in the aftermath of its surprise attack is merely a policy issue or reflects latent anti-Semitism, especially among the nation's political left, lies at the heart of the political unrest in California and elsewhere, last week. Administrators at multiple prestigious universities drew a blank when asked whether calling for the genocide of Jews violated their campus conduct codes. Now, they confront a potential backlash that could lead to their dismissal from office. The heated debates taking place at the University of California, Berkeley, are ironic given that they are mainly taking place within the Democratic Party and left-leaning academic circles. San Francisco State University President Michael Drake announced new programs focused on better understanding anti-Semitism and Islamophobia, how to recognize and combat extremism, and a viewpoint-neutral history of the Middle East on November 15. Some professors who wanted to include pro-Palestine views in their classes criticized Drake's remarks, claiming he was trying to impose his views on students by limiting their academic freedom. Following this, Drake released a statement claiming he was talking about voluntary, extracurricular educational programming on our campuses, not classroom content. When you see officials mandated that all faculty applicants publicly and in writing affirm their support for the system's policies on diversity, equity, and inclusion, those who had previously voiced concerns about academic freedom violations related to teaching Middle Eastern history failed to raise an objection. Academic freedom seems to be defined according to the ideology of individuals who feel their rights are being curtailed. Dan Walters began his career in journalism in 1960, while still a high school student in Eureka, California, at the age of 16, for the Humboldt Times. He has been working for California newspapers for the majority of that time, with the exception of a few years. His email address is dan at calmatters.org.